Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass and this is day two on Falcon. It's actually day three, but a cold front came in, huge storm came in, we couldn't even get on the water yesterday. We tried to bank launch down here, it was giant waves. Today it's still cold, you can see I'm in a down jacket down here on the Mexico border, but it's slick calm and we're headed out to hopefully catch some great big lake falcon bass. Come along. We're idling up to a spot right now. Now this is actually an area that we fished in our previous Falcon video. We're going to try again just to check our bite this morning, see if it's better or worse than it was the other day since we've had this storm come in. But essentially what we're doing out here is there are still fish that are spawning, but this is way south down here. So there are a lot of post-spawn fish. That's what we're targeting. Post-spawn fish tend to split after the spawn. Some stay shallow, some go out to offshore structure, out to rock, out to ledges, and they sit out there and recover, and then they spend the summer really keyed in on that rock. That's what we're spending our time doing. We're chasing that post-spawn bite, fish that have backed out to outside edges, and those are the fish we're targeting. So let's pull up here, see how it compares to the other day, and then we'll know how to adapt or grow from there. Catch them on that little biggie, that uh, little VMC treble with the blade in it. A little extra flash, seems to be working. friend oh, 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 oh. he broke that off come here buddy that was on a wobble head that is still in his mouth even though he broke me off nice fish big old belly on him he's back out here feeding he broke that off with about three quarters of an inch of line in front of the knot. The rock out here is just vicious. <laughs> We're constantly retying, like every few casts. And clearly I got nicked up by something, but we got him to the boat. Was it? He didn't know ours existed. He almost had to be fishing. There's one straight up and down. See ya. Any size? <laughs> no. All right, we're wrapping that spot up. So when we pulled up here the other day, we probably got 15 to 20 bites and some of our best fish of the day. Today we pulled in there, we got three or four short strikes and I caught that one solid fish and that's it. It's very evident that either the wind or the cold has completely changed the situation on this lake. Uh, these fish's behavior, either they've moved or they've locked down. So we're going to have to do some adapting today. Oh, 
find stuff off the It really is cool. Little guy, but I'll take him. He's that big old zoom old monster. We pulled up on this spot, drove around. There's some scattered rock. Tim waypointed the limits of the rock. Pull up, fire one up there, get bit. It's pretty awesome to see it through from side imaging, setting waypoints to turning around and catching them. Leader. I'm trying to be thorough. <sighs> Guess she was on the other side of the rock pile. That was a big one. Well, I get the leader material. Watch your foot, buddy. Nice fish. That dude absolutely inhaled this little shaky head. It's a culprit curly tail on a shaky head. That is a nice fish, big old gut. I'll take that on a tough day. Had to go down to lighter line, smaller worm patterns the same, right? But just everything downsized. And it happened. Calm down. My goodness. A little bit bigger worm there that's back on the 10 inch. We've just really, really had to slow down our presentations and just barely pull these worms. You know, that, that bigger fish I got on the shaky head Normally, I don't throw a curly tail worm on a shaky head. I, I really like throwing a straight tail worm on a shaky. There's something about these curly tails with these fish down here. They are all about it. Even when you're going slow, and we're just babying these baits and they, they pick it up. It just starts to load up. It's pretty fun. Just a nothing bite coming through that rock. I've been snagged and had to retie so many times. <laughs> been uh, afraid to set the hook you know I lost that big one thanks bud earlier just picked up into weight reeled down set and pulled back and you can just feel the he how heavy they are when they pull back but fishing this rock has been brutal we're probably gonna cut out a bunch of it but we've had to retie probably 
15 times between the two of us. Yeah, probably so. New leaders, new tungsten, new worms. It's just, it's been brutal. So it's a little slow on the hook set on that guy, but uh, at least it didn't break off this time. Good. We're not afraid to swing on that one. <laughs> time I'm ready I'll get her on the jump not under there I won't there we go <laughs> hey big girl <laughs> oh. <laughs> through the bottom through your glove nice fish <laughs> man look at the gut heavy oh yeah dropped down to that quarter ounce tungsten just because we were getting dug in too much couldn't feel much as dragon until got about eight pounds heavier <laughs> <laughs> she had a whole monster <laughs> pretty cool little falcon lake giant here gonna let her go thanks girl You're free. There she goes. Still got hung? Yeah. Fun. I don't have enough gear for this rock pile. What? Then I don't have enough gear for this rock pile. No. Dude. <laughs> yeah. That's a fish right there. Oh man. Zoom old monster on what started out 
as a very tough day. We just had to slow down and these fish started munching. That's awesome. We need to stop to get some photos of her and then we'll turn her loose. You're free whenever you... She was ready. Awesome, let's do that again. Not like the ones we've been catching, but it's still fun. All right, little update for you guys. So our big fish so far is just over eight and a half. We need to cull a fish. So if we can catch a 4.42, our best five will be over 30 pounds. We're about this close. We need to cull a four with a bigger four and we'll be there. So one fish away from a 30 pound bag. It's getting windy, it's getting rough, but we've got a couple hours. I think we can get it done. Nice, nice fish. That one's not gonna do it, but I'm happy to have him. That one munched it. A lot of them have been really subtle, just pressure bites. That one, he meant business. He must have been trying to get it away from somebody bigger. All right guys, I guess that's the end of our video. Guy just blocked this. That's gonna do it. That'll do it. 30, 30. Hey, watch your boat real quick. That's the one we've been looking for. That's our buddy Coop there in the background. He just pulled up, it's the end of the day. And we definitely got it done with that one. We are over 30 pounds for sure. That is awesome. All right guys, time to wrap it up. It started getting dark quick. With all that wind, it was easier to just wait until we got back to the truck to kind of connect the dots for you. Tim right now is, that's Coop floating out there. We decided to launch down here near the dam and at this water level, there's not a boat ramp. So we were actually bank launching here. So Tim's helping Coop get his truck and boat out of the water. But uh, the short version of today was it was all about adapting. It would have been very easy to have a brutal, brutal day. Uh, like you guys saw in the beginning, we, we went back to where we had been catching them before this storm came in and it just wasn't happening. So we had to change. I think every fish we caught today came on the worm. Um, seven inch curly tail, 10 inch curly tail, shaky head, Texas rig, but I think they were all worm fish. I'll link the exact baits, everything we caught them on down in the video description, the rods we were using. I was still fishing with travel rods. Tim's still fishing with traditional rods. We had an absolute blast out here. A 30 pound bag is a big bag anywhere you go, let alone on a lake that's giant and you have no idea where to start or what to do. It's been really fun seeing that through, building a pattern and adapting. So the, the trick today, because things did get tough, was to slow down. Those ribbon tail worms, curly tail worms, 
we were just barely barely moving them and they've got enough movement of their own that that's what it took sometimes we were getting those bites while they were sitting dead still in the case of my big one it was literally stuck in the rocks and i had popped it trying to get it free but it was truly stuck and that fish came in and ate that worm sitting dead still and pulled it out of that snag which is awesome uh, such a fun day so many big fish a great big limit of fish too much fun pay attention to those little details when you're on the water i mean the difference between a brutal day and an amazing day today was realizing that a change had happened and just slowing down we were still catching them on similar baits but we slowed down we took our time we didn't start panicking and running all around the lake we just slowed it down and we got those key bites if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and we'll talk to you soon